Three, two, one. Top, 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 top pill, episode 144. Welcome to another episode of the Top Pill Podcast. I'm your boy, Mr. Top Pill Pod, a.k.a. E-Money Boss. Shout out to Jamila with her own boss. She cannot be with us tonight. Uh, keep her in your prayers, man. She's not feeling too good, but um, you guys I already know how Jamila is. She's going to bounce right back, man. So make sure you guys send her your love and prayers. And uh, yeah, man, it's just me tonight. Which you already know what that means, man. We're going to party, 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 man. And you're going, we in my studio tonight, man. So we're going to have, we're going to have a good time tonight, man. I'll be able to get to a lot of y'all's reactions tonight. And um, I'm looking forward to it, man. Shout out to everybody in the building, man. I know Big Gun is in the building. I know Nigeria in the building, man. Who else in the building, man? Who else is in the building? Um, Let's see, man. I hope everybody had a really good past couple of weeks man um the last time we didn't do the stream because it fell on juneteenth um here in the states is now a federal holiday we wanted to to celebrate you know our freedom here in this country you know what i mean the fourth of july is, is america's independence but juneteenth is really a celebration of everybody's independence because in 1865 that's when you know slavery was er eradicated and or emancipated um, in the United States, um, which granted us to have our freedom, man. So um, it's great that that we actually can have that acknowledged. Um, also, Father's Day was before that. I don't know if we got any fathers in the building, man, but happy Father's Day to everybody who is a father. You know what I mean? And, um, and yeah, man, I don't got no kids, but, you know what I mean, it is what it is. A shout out to all the fathers. And, um, yeah, man, I had a really, really good weekend. Um, <laughs> me and Jamila, we actually, we went out to, um, this rooftop pool party over the weekend. That was a lot of fun. It was a, it was a big vibe, man. It was a big, big vibe. If you guys haven't already, make sure you guys follow us on our social media platforms because you guys get to see a lot of the behind the scenes stuff, stuff that Jamila be doing, stuff that I be doing, you know what I mean? I be outside all the time. She be out there too. So... Yeah, man, make sure you guys follow us at eMoneyBoss, at Jamila underscore Idris underscore, and at Top Hill Pod. Yeah, man. So you guys can catch some exclusive, exclusive shit. All right. Let's see here. Tonight, we're going to have a lot of fun, man. We're going we're gonna to get into these reactions tonight. And, and yeah, man. All right. Eber was first in the building. We're gonna get right to it tonight, man. Cause I see a lot of a lot of y'all are pulling up on me, man. A lot. So we're gonna get to it. Ali J official. I see. I know you were second too. I got you, brother. So we're gonna start with Eber, then we're gonna get to Ali J official, and then we're gonna go in line, man. South Africa in the building. What is good? What is good? What's up, scrap scrapper per G movies? I, I'm. You know I'm really bad with pronouncing names, guys. You already know. <laughs> you already know how it is, man. Um, but yeah, um, I had a really great day, man. You know, what I mean, I can't complain. I can't complain. I'm truly blessed and happy to be here with you guys today, man. I, you guys don't know how much I really appreciate you guys pulling up, man. I have a lot of fun. I love. I love listening to new music, man. You guys be really putting me on game and stuff like that. So I really appreciate it. And um, you know, my love for Africa is real, man. You know, what I mean, I, I've been. Born and raised here in the states, but um, you know, I I I, true, I do truly believe that we are one. You know what I mean? Like when I first came out to Africa, I felt so much genuine love, man. I really felt like I was coming home to like my family. Like it was like it was like pulling up to like auntie's house and stuff like that. Y'all just made me feel so welcome, and um, I want to continue to go back and show and show more love, man. And um, I got a question for y'all. So I've been to Ghana. And I've been to Tanzania, and I'm looking for the next African country to visit. I've been doing some research. Um, I already know I'm gonna go back to Ghana. I already, I already know that's gonna happen, but I also want to go to a different country. And I've been I've been looking at I've been looking at Kenya. I've been looking at South Africa. I've been looking at Rwanda. Um, you know, let me know, man. Let me know you. Let me know what is a good spot for, you know, I'm, I'm a single man, you know what I mean? Let me know what is a good spot to come out there, you know, have a good time. 
You know what I mean? Let me know what country you think uh, would be a good choice. Robert Eli, I see you was third in line, man. I got you. I got you. Okay. He said come to South Africa. Okay. Let me know. Like, it's Cape Town the vibe? Because, you know, I like being by the water and stuff like that. So, I'm thinking Cape Town. Um, you know, I hear a lot of stuff about Joe Bird. You know what I mean? So, um, maybe I can do both of them in that same trip. Maybe visit both. Visit visit Johannesburg and visit Cape Town. You know, maybe split it up in half. Or let me know what other spots in South Africa I should come visit. Um, Big Austin Toes in the building. What up, Austin? See you, bruh. Oh, yeah. So I see a lot of love from South Africa, man. Come to Ghana in December? Yes, man. That is the plan. That is the goal. I'm really trying to come down there in December, Daddy December, man. I'm trying to go to the New Year's Eve party on the beach or something like that. You know what I mean? I'm trying to go to that um, the Afro, uh, Af not Afro Cella, Afro Futures uh, concert. I'm trying to go down there. Okay, let's see. He said Cape Town, Durban, and Johannesburg. Yeah, now, okay, I heard about Durban too. If I'm not mistaken, I think that's where Nasty C is from. Like, how, how far... Are they are they like good enough where I can like do all that in the same trip or do I need to split that up because I don't I, I know South Africa is a pretty you know big country you know kind of like the states it's like when you come to the states you can't you can't knock out all the cities in one trip unless you stay in here for a very long time you know what I mean um you said Ghana or maybe Accra maybe Comerica okay yeah, I, I stayed I stayed in the crowd and I also went to um the Volta region as well too. I went to the Volta region. I went to uh um <laughs> Y'all look, relax with the spamming in the chat, man. Relax with the spamming. If you guys are new here, that means that you guys know how it goes, man. We go by the first person that pulls up. I can see everybody's, you know, chat in here. So I go by who came in first, second, third. And then I'll get to your reactions. You spamming um, your reaction multiple times is not going to let me. It's not going to get me to get to your reaction sooner. It's it's, it's not. Um, but you know I, I appreciate the love and the enthusiasm. You know what I mean. I, I see the Stone Boy. You know we react to a lot of Stone Boy on this channel, man. Um, <laughs> also that make me a moderator. I don't even know how to make you a moderator on here, man. But you already know. You already know, man. I appreciate everybody for pulling up. All right, so you said those cities are in different provinces, different states. Okay. Yeah, man. That, that's like that's like if you come to the states, like you got New York, then you got California, you got this. They they also spread out. So let's see. Oh yeah, Robert Eli already said he got he got that record covered. Okay. Bad bad bad. We gonna get we gonna get into these reactions, man. Y'all seen what was going on with this this all this submarine shit going on, man? I don't know if you guys been paying attention to the news, man, but I I have my thoughts. Whenever I see the whenever I see the media like be pushing information on us like that hard, like I couldn't go anywhere on Instagram without seeing you know these five million these five millionaires that we're on the submarine. Um. I automatically think like, okay, what else are they hiding? What else is, what else is going on in the background that they don't want us to see? Because just, just like before that, there was like 700 people who passed away from a shipwreck, and that barely got any news coverage. And and they have us always focus on, on, on this. You know what I mean? Like, I I feel really bad for the people who passed away, but you know, my brain just be going, man, like. Did they did did they really get on that shit? Like, do we really know if they was on there or not? Like, what if they fake their death? They might be in Cuba somewhere. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know. What y'all what y'all thoughts? Yeah, yeah, man. It's it's terrible if it's true, man. But yeah, man. I you, I I try to be careful with all with all this media stuff, man. Because there's there's so many, there's so many things that are going on. But I'm like, yo, what is <laughs> what is actually really going on here, man? Like. What what is the truth? Like, I'm not spending a quarter million dollars to look at a wrecked ship 
that you can look like there's no windows in there so like you go down and you're looking at the titanic through a through a screen through a camera because there's no windows on this too so i'm like you you could have just looked at youtube for all of that you know what i mean if you go look at it at the screen anyway you spent a quarter million dollars like i'm i'm beyond me man that's I don't know. People you having so much money, they don't know what to do with it. I'm like, you could you could have spent that money somewhere else, somewhere else, man. There's so many people out here that that could have used that to like, I don't know, man, do something. And these and, these, and they had the audacity to go down there. They was using a, a freaking Xbox controller. Like that's just some janky shit, man. I don't know. I don't know, man. Would y'all would y'all would y'all want to do something like that? Would y'all get in the submarine? I'm claustrophobic. I ain't going. In, I can't go in no submarine, man. Forget that.